Hey, what's going on, Capricorn? This is going to be your September monthly love advice. This is going to be for the month of September 2018. Thank you so much for watching Luminate Libra. We're going to get right into your reading here, spirits. Just please give me great information for Capricorn for love advice. Whoop. Slip cards. Love advice for Capricorn. Capricorn love advice. Spirit, I need three cards for my Capricorn. And I need three cards for their person of interest. Or their cross watcher. Or... The person that's coming towards Capricorn, if Capricorn is single, right here, Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn's cross watcher slash current situation slash whoever's on their mind slash who is ever coming to them if you're single. All right, Capricorn. All right, Capricorn, what I'm getting for you is I'm getting the fountain. And uh, I'm using the fountain tarot for this, if anybody is uh, interested in about it, interested about it. The fountain card here is telling me that you are coming from a place of, it's like you're a never-ending well that you never run dry of resources somehow or... The love that you give to people, it just seems to just come from a never-ending never ending source. Um, and I feel like you feel this way right now towards someone um, in your past or, uh, or you're actually maybe looking at this situation as like this is someone in your past that maybe you're not so sure if you should give that... Uh, that type of unconditional love and attention to. Oh, and sorry, this one, I guess this is already flipped over. Oops. <laughs> and the eight of coins. So the eight of coins here in reverse. <clears throat> excuse me. The eight of coins here in reverse is telling me that you're no longer interested in putting forward the effort um, into maintaining a relationship that is either in your past um, or it's a relationship that you're about to make your past. Like you're just currently no longer interested in looking back at what you've done for this person. Uh, that's the general energies that I'm getting for you, Capricorn. On their side, I'm getting the Seven of Swords, the Emperor, and the World in reverse. Now, with the Seven of Swords, for the, you guys that um, are dealing with someone currently or uh, or this is maybe an ex, um, they are feeling like they can come at you through the use of an advantage that they feel that they have over you. You know, maybe they're a smooth talker. Someone who feels like they're just really in control here with the emperor. They feel like they're in control. Like they are the ones who are the architect of this particular relationship. And they feel like they, they can just talk to you in any type of way. And you're just supposed to be okay with that. You know, you're just supposed to say, okay, and you don't have a choice. And they feel like that, you know, like I said, that they're in control, you know, but. The thing about it is, is that they're just going to be going over and over and over in an ever ending loop. They're not going to be able to come out of this particular type of mind frame. Um, or better yet, I don't see them getting over uh, feeling like they can control the relationship because 
you have no longer given it any effort. Okay. For those of you um, who are single, I really feel like, you know, you have so much love to give. And maybe because of past circumstances, um, or you don't rather, how can I say this? Actually, let me rephrase it. You do have so much love uh, to give that's just an endless source, no doubt. But there possibly is a past situation that you shut out that you don't want to work through, which is the reason um, why maybe you're not attracting anyone in your life or the people that you need in your life is because there is possibly some things that I think that you are not perp that you're purposely not dealing with um, in your singledom that would prepare you for a relationship. Um, and with this person that is possibly coming to you, once you work with that, I feel like that they're also dealing, well, they're dealing with uh, their ego and they're dealing with um, manipulative, uh, they're trying to get over manipulative <clears throat> ways of going about doing things. Okay. Spirit, thank you so much for that advice. Can we just get any, just a little bit more advice here from our romance angels about how we could possibly go forward in this. two cards that would give us just some additional advice here in our romance department for Capricorn. Okay, so our first card that we got was unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And our next card is retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So this can mean a couple of different things, Capricorn, but what I'm seeing the most here for those who are involved or those who are, you know, just uh, dating or maybe dealing with someone from their past, I'm feeling like you don't, you already know that you don't want to put any more effort into how much uh, this, uh, this relationship has progressed. Because you already know that you really don't feel them right now on the level that they feel you. And it could also be the same way. They're not, they don't, they think that you like them more than they like you. And that's why they know that they can, or that's why they feel like they can take advantage of you or try to play with your mind. Okay. Okay. The both of you, what the both of you need to do is the both of you need to retreat and really just disconnect yourselves from each other to actually work on what personal things you personal things you need to work on in order for you can even consider uh, reconciling or solidifying this relationship. And for my single Capricorns. I just feel like, you know, I mean, it's honestly, it's really, this might, this might as well just be a single read because I don't see anywhere here in this reading where the person that you're interested in is really interested in you as much as you are in them or vice versa. Because you have things that you have to deal with and they have, you have things that affected you emotionally that you have to deal with and they have ego issues that they have to deal with. Capricorn. It's time to start manifesting some new love, man. And only if that resonates with you. I mean, you know, and if it doesn't, then please check your sun, moon and rising or excuse me, check your moon and rising as well.
just to add on this retreat, I do see that they are together retreating. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Maybe this means that, um, you know, you two just may even need to just take some time away from the world together. Disconnect yourselves from social media, from, you know, whatever. And just really focus on the both of you because you possibly could together heal each other. Well, Capricorn, I think that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for your love reading for September. Please like, subscribe, comment. Please. Thank you for watching Illuminate Libra. You have a great day.